<laughs> so good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. This is Dr. Sarah, your Limitless Liberator, and I'm here just to give thanks to you for being part of the Be Limitless Challenge, as well as being part of our community, Limitless Her Way. So just want to say hi, and as you know, in, in the normal vein of things, just checking in with you to see if you have any questions for me. So how is it going? How is the challenge going? I have some questions for you all. So I'm talking about y'all, you know, if you have a question for me, let me see if I have any questions for you. You let me know how your day is going. You can put in a comment section. Let me know if, if you're watching with me live or on the replay, watching as a replay. But let me ask you some questions. And my first question would be, again, how is it going for you? How is the challenge? Are you seeing results? Are you seeing any outcomes? Do you find yourself staying the same? Do you find yourself regressing? Whatever questions jump out at you that you can answer, feel free to answer, put in the comment section. Just want to gauge and see how this is going if you feel like this is really helping and being of a benefit because that is always our goal here. Make sure that we're giving you great content, great information that's valuable, that is um, vital for you to be able to live, love, and lead powerfully and boldly without the limits. So you can go after your dreams unapologetically, and guiltlessly. Um, just want to know as well, let's see what other questions I got. I want to ask you, where do you feel like you're stuck at? Because that will really help to give me the, uh, the idea and the opportunity to help you to move that needle forward. Where do you feel stuck at? What are the blocks? What's been resisting? Like what resistances have been coming up for you? Now, on the other end, are you seeing results? Have you, you know, been able to do things that you thought that otherwise you weren't capable of doing? Um, are you able to really speak your voice and speak your mind without apology or guilt? Are you really being able to live your authentic best life after doing this challenge? And we're only halfway. So I would love to hear from you. How is it going? Let me know because we definitely want to make sure that we are of support to you and making sure that you are being limitless. Yeah. All right. So today's topic, again, you can put the questions in the comment section for me. That would be awesome. So then I can go ahead and answer any questions that you may have, whether joining me live or on the replay. All right. So here's what came up for me to talk about. Limitless leaders have limits. Limitless leaders have limits. Limitless leaders have limits. How, Dr. Langley? How are you going to teach us about being limitless? But you're about to tell us that we have limits. Here's how. Let's call them boundaries. I was working with a client yes, the other day, yesterday. And in talking with her, she, oh my goodness, it was like night and day. I used to work with her during the daytime, yeah, during the day, and then I started working with her in the evening, and this was night and day. <laughs> what I mean by that is she has been extremely amazing that after working with her for some time, that she's finally seeing the light. And she's realizing that the challenge that she had was, and for her to be limitless, she had to have boundaries. She had to put limits on um, who she was allowing in her space, um, how she was showing up, because there were times that she was like, you know, she was showing up for everyone else, but no one was showing up for her. Let me ask you that question. Have you ever felt that way? Where you're like, wow, I'm giving 110%, but people are barely giving me 50%, if that. Because here's the thing. You are responsible for showing up for you. No one else is. Yes, it, may, it, it would make sense that because it's like a give and take, it's supposed to be a give and take that they're showing, you're showing up for them and therefore you expect them to show up for you. And when they don't, you're upset, you're frustrated, you're shutting down, you're depressed, you're anxious, you, you're withdrawn. Why? There's no need to fix that. It's time for you to show yourself that same courtesy that you will show everyone else. Don't do it just for them to now see the light and for them to now be like, oh, I need to go ahead and show up for her because she's been showing up for me. If they didn't do that the first time, then don't expect them to do it the 18th time or at the 28th time. You have to set the example. You have to show up for yourself. 
You have to set the boundaries for yourself. You have to set the limits, what you will and will not tolerate. And I know the thought is like, oh, well, I don't want to lose. I don't want anyone to leave my life. I don't want to seem like I'm bad and I don't want to seem mean and I don't want to be told that I'm, you know, an angry woman and all these things, which can be justifiable and legitimate. You're valid with how you feel. This is your lived experience. And I'm saying to you that if you want to see different, you have to do differently to get different results. Have you tried? And you can tell me like, yes, Dr. Langley, I tried to back away and put the limits and put the boundaries up and they still didn't listen. They still disregarded it. Well, it really depends on how much you were regarding it. How much were you keeping it fortified or were you laxing on it because of your mindset? Living out of loss, living out of lack, living out of uh, limitations, living out of scarcity, living out of fear, living out of loneliness. So here's the determining factor for you on you being a limitless leader who has limits when it comes to your boundaries. What's driving it? If what's driving it is to be in survival mode in terms of, well, I gotta protect myself, I gotta be safe. Then unfortunately that also calls a certain type of air certain type of folks <laughs> uh, who will challenge your boundaries, who you will lax and relax your boundaries on. If you, are, if you honor and regard and stay firm to your boundaries and you're driven by love, driven by happiness, driven by expansiveness, driven by um, fullness, driven by peace, driven by freedom, driven by joy, then that actually calls for a certain air of people who actually will honor and regard your boundaries because they, re they regard and honor their own. Those who don't regard their own, we tend to gravitate to those people if we don't regard our own. Those who are regarding their own boundaries, then if we are also regarding our own boundaries, then we will attract to that and there won't be any issue or concerns around boundaries being disrespected or you feeling like you're giving too much and the other person is not it will be that type of give and take in terms of people who are coming in equal 100 100 not 50 50 not 40 75 like oh i sacrificed all and i'm just waiting for him to you know sacrifice for me if they didn't do it the first time i wish i could quote the great late maya angelou my my version when people show their behinds believe them the first time i'm saying that's so clean <laughs> So I'm telling you right here, right now, your job is to know where do people end and where do you begin when it comes to your boundaries. You don't want anyone to influence it any further because you're not happy about it. You feel like you've lost, lost control. You feel, you feel like you don't have any say. You can't live your authentic self. Let's stop that. It stops here, yes? So your position, your job tonight, today, this morning, this afternoon, is to now be able to write down what are your boundaries. I'm gonna share with you what my client came up for, for hers. It's okay to take breaks. It's okay to say no. It's okay for me to be there for me. I am enough for me. I stand in my truth. And I'm only allowing people who can add into my life, not subtract it. So I, I hope that you caught those. So you just have to replay this and then catch those so that you can now have them as your declaration. So we have worked together to make this her declaration and that she's saying it at least once or twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening, once before she go to, goes to bed, once when she gets up and starts her day so she can frame it and shape it the way she wants it to go. So in turn, I want you to start establishing your declarations, your boundary toolbox, so that you can be limitless on your own terms that people can now regard and revere and honor because you're doing it first. You're showing them how to do it. All right, so thank you so much for your time. Again, if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. Whether you're watching it live here or on the replay, I will make sure that I will answer every single one. Thank you and be limitless. Dr. Sarah Renee, you're limitless. Later. Bye.